Knock on wood, baby. Eating somebody's face on the side of the highway in broad daylight in Miami. That's, that's some crazy shit. But the crazy part to me is that he was a black dude. <laughs> like, you would think if somebody was eating somebody's face and that ever came to fruition in real life, it would be a white guy, right? Huh? White people have crazy stereotypes on lock for years. Bungee jumping, preemptively invading other countries, serial killing. You guys have been handing these things down along as traditions forever. So zombies, it would just seem like, what? He's a black dude, what? It just surprised me. But, it, but the thing is, he got, he, had, he got shot six times before he started eating his face. Before he stopped eating the dude's face. Six bullets, he took six bullets before he stopped. That's determination. That just shows to you, like, like white people might be known for doing crazy shit, but when a black person does crazy shit, he still does it the best. This dude is like the Tiger Woods of zombie cannibals. <laughs> the, only, the, only, the only dude that might be a little bit better than this, but the only zombie might be better than this man would be Michael Jackson and Thriller. <laughs> Should I say it too soon? What? How was that? What, who, uh, what, what's, what is touching you there? What? Michael Jackson was a zombie and Thriller, correct? He played the fuck out the role. Best zombie of all time, I would say. Give him a compliment. What's the problem? What's the problem, guys? Okay, all right, whatever. We're cool, right? We're cool? We're cool? All right, we're cool. <laughs> yeah, baby, lose the credit card, yeah. <laughs> but it, the dude, he was, on a, he was on a hallucinogens when he ate this dude's thing. <sighs> fucking pussy. Come on. You're gonna eat somebody's face, eat the fucking face. Why are, you, why are you gonna use illegal substances, man? Just like if I, if I want to get to fight somebody, if I was a real man, I'm gonna go ahead and fight him. I'm not gonna go get coked up and on alcohol and do shit. Nah, I mean, just do it. I mean, I've never been to fight before, but if I was, that's what I would do. As a real man, right? That's what you just, you just do it straight up. Real zombie he faces no chaser. Straight up. That's, that's all I'm saying. So if, if Mark McGuire's home run record has an asterisk by it, Somebody's looking at this guy's zombie credentials. That's what I'm saying. And I, I know it can be done. You can eat people without hallucinogens. I know it can be done. When I was in high school in Nigeria, uh, there were certain towns they used to tell us never to go to because these towns were known for eating uh, people. Uh, they would say in my language, and I thought about it, uh, which translated, they chew flesh. That, that's some gangster, disturbing shit. They chew, they chew, chew flesh. But they, they knew it with no hallucinogens, just off raw appetite alone. <laughs> That's it, just say, oh, I'm, I'm hungry, so I want to eat the uh, seven head of fish. That's it. <laughs> you don't get bath salted up to do it. So my point is, the point is, uh, African zombie cannibals are better than black zombie cannibals. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> And all, that, that, I know how you people are. If I say, I still sorry about some, yeah, you motherfucking people. Yes, you motherfucking people. I know you are. I'll say one story about some Africans that eat zombies. They're like, you know all Africans eat people, right? You know, you know that's a thing over there in the dark continent. I heard somebody talk about it on stage. That's just some, it's an isolated, very isolated incident. I just brought it up for this, okay. Knock on wood, baby.